everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Sheila. I'm Tony. And we are currently at Percha Dam State Park. Percha Dam has a bird list of over 320 species, which is an incredible amount considering that the size of the park is only about 80 acres. Bird watchers from all over the world come here and see a diversity of birds, including a number of rare species that are not normally found along the Rio Grande in New Mexico. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please click the like button, give us a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss our next Advent Nature. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Located only two miles downstream from Caballo Dam, Percha Dam is situated along the Rio Grande, 20 miles south of Truth or Consequences and 50 miles north of Las Cruces. Although small, only about 80 acres, Percha Dam has one of the largest bird lists in New Mexico. To date, 322 species have been documented and with each passing year, this number continues to grow. Admission to the park is only $5 a day per vehicle or free if you have the $40 annual day use pass. The pass can be purchased at any New Mexico State Park or online at ReserveAmerica.com. A total of 30 pull-through sites are available with water and electric. Each site has a picnic table located under a metal shelter and a fire ring. Each site is $14 per night, or $4 if you have the annual New Mexico State Parks camping permit. The fee also includes the $5 day use fee. Restrooms with showers are conveniently located within the campground. The large shade trees within the campground attract a good number of resident and migrant birds. Small flocks of cedar waxwings typically visit the trees in the campground during winter. These stunning birds favor cottonwood trees laden with mistletoe. Cedar waxwings can be recognized by their sleek crest, black mask, pale yellow wash on the belly, and a yellow-tipped tail. Waxwings are named for the red waxy tips to the wing feathers, which are not always easy to see. Another species that often associates with cedar waxwings are western bluebirds. These distinct birds are also attracted to mistletoe berries, and both species are commonly found in the campground during winter months. Male western bluebirds have a blue throat, unlike the red throat of the eastern bluebird that is found across the eastern United States. Western bluebirds also have a grayish belly, unlike the distinct white belly of the eastern bluebird. The latter-backed woodpecker is a small black and white woodpecker. Only the males have a red crown that extends to the back of the head. Restricted mainly to the southwestern United States and Mexico, the latter back is a year-round resident at Percha Dam. Some of the rare or uncommon winter birds that we have seen in the campground include Rufus backed robin, yellow bellied sapsucker, and 
and red crossbill. The small wetland located between the developed and primitive sites is a good area to check for birds that prefer dense cover. The song sparrow can often be found here in winter. Compared to most sparrows, this medium-sized sparrow is heavily streaked with a long, rounded tail. It is one of the most variable birds in North America. With a total of 24 subspecies being recognized by scientists. In general, coastal and northern birds are darker and streakier, with southern and desert birds being of a paler plumage. The large cottonwood trees in the dispersed camping area attract several birds. including the distinct Phenopepala. They typically favor the large trees laden with mistletoe berries. The males are shiny jet black and have white wing patches, which are only noticeable in flight. The female is browner, but both sexes have a red eye and a distinct crest. The stunning male vermilion flycatcher can typically be found in the primitive camping area. Unlike most flycatchers, the vermilion flycatcher is unmistakable. However, the female is much less distinct and can sometimes be confused for a Sage Phoebe. The white breasted nuthatch and the occasional Eastern Phoebe may also be found here in winter. The riparian area along the Rio Grande has attracted a number of rare birds in the past. Locally rare winter birds that we have seen here include this Carolina Wren, Brown Thrasher, and Great Kiskadee. South of the dispersed camping area is a trail that is designated as part of the incomplete Rio Grande Trail. Large flocks of white crowned sparrows inhabit the brush during winter months. It is worth scanning the flocks for the white throated sparrow. Although common and widespread throughout the eastern United States in the winter, it is generally uncommon in New Mexico. Sparrows and the closely related towhees often scratch at leaf litter and grasses in search of seeds. The dead cottonwood trees have even attracted this out of range Lewis's woodpecker. Kircher Dam itself is a reliable spot to see spotted sandpiper. Mm -hmm. 
Other birds that can be found here include Wilson Snipe, Belted Kingfisher, and Black Phoebe. Percha Dam was built in 1918 and is listed on a National Register of Historic Places. The 350-foot Long Concrete Dam was constructed to divert water from the Rio Grande into the 27-mile long Rincon Valley Main Canal. This canal is typically dry until summer when irrigation water is needed by the chili farmers downstream. Water only flows over the dam and into the canal when water is released upstream from Elephant Butte Dam and nearby Caballo Dam. A small metal bridge crosses a usually dry canal before entering an area of Russian olive trees. Just beyond is a good area to view the wide open Rio Grande above the dam. This is normally a good area to look for several species of waterfowl, but unfortunately, our visit coincided with duck hunting season, hence today's lack of waterfowl. Percher Dam State Park is a great place to visit any time of year. It is also one of the best areas along the Rio Grande to look for rarities such as eastern wobblers during spring and fall migration. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe so you do not miss our next Advent Nature.